Liberal rioters just destroyed Lincoln Memorial, get slapped with nasty surprise from Trump. Last weekend brought us racial tensions in spades. The white supremacists and neo-Nazis took a page out of the Black Lives Matter and Antifa handbook and took to the streets to shout their racial slurs for all to hear. Of course, not to be outdone, the other groups who felt their skin was in the game had to come out to meet the idiots on the other side of the issue and just make the whole problem worse. This made for an eventful weekend, even if you were just watching it on the sidelines. Since these were rational and rice-wide issues, everyone's local chapter of law-breaking demonstrators had to get in on the fun. This happened very notably in Washington, D.C., where some vandals thought it would be fun to deface the Lincoln Memorial with some nasty words. The events of the weekend aren't anything to laugh about, there were three killed and many others injured, and the president came out in a strong show of force, displaying how unacceptable he finds these kinds of actions. President Trump made it very clear that he would be cracking down on any and all violent actions linked to the hatred that was spreading like wildfire over the weekend. Here were his comments following all of the racist displays of last weekend. Obviously, the president isn't all about listening to those who want to divide us. The opposite of being racist is when you treat a person based on actions and merit, regardless of their skin color. That means that the white people and black people alike who commit crimes will be prosecuted indiscriminately. That goes for those who deface our national monuments as well. No doubt those who commit these crimes, both large and small, consider themselves the heroes of their cause, and maybe in some way they are, however, it's in pursuit of a cause that will eventually break down our society, not build it up. Here's more from our source NBC Washington about the specifics of the vandalism that took place at the Lincoln Memorial. Someone has vandalized the Lincoln Memorial, the National Park Service says. The words F. Law were found written in red spray paint early Tuesday on a pillar at the monument that overlooks the Capitol building and National Mall, NPS said Tuesday afternoon. The graffiti was found about 4.30 a.m. It's frustrating not only for the Park Service but certainly for the visitors that come here, that anyone would vandalize any of our iconic memorials. Especially the Lincoln Memorial. Especially with everything that's going on now, the calls for unity and people to come together, NPS spokesman Mike Litterst said. To go to the site of the memorial to Abraham Lincoln and do that, that's disappointing, he continued. Here's how a child visiting the memorial put it. They vandalized the Lincoln Memorial, this beautiful masterpiece. It was not immediately clear if the vandals were caught on surveillance cameras, the NPS spokesman said. The crime is a federal offense. Work to remove the words is underway. A preservation crew is using a mild, gel-type architectural paint stripper to remove the paint without damaging the stone. The crew is applying a layer of the gel, rinsing it checking how effective it was and repeating as necessary. On Tuesday evening, the words were covered by thick paper. The work is expected to extend for a week. News 4 spotted additional damage to the Lincoln Memorial Tuesday afternoon. Someone appears to have carved M plus E on the same pillar where the red spray paint was found. The letters were thought to have been there for a while. While the paint can be removed, the carving is permanent. Additional vandalism, in silver spray paint, was found on a sign on the 1400 block of Constitution Avenue, NPS said. Any words were indecipherable. In February, someone vandalized the Lincoln Memorial, World War II Memorial D.C., War Memorial and Washington Monument with permanent marker. That graffiti was small scrawlings that appeared to say, Jackie shot JFK blood test is a lie, leukemia cancer HIV get a second option, and September 11, 2001, pilots fly planes into WTC. Kevin Hall, 1A, U.S. serviceman who took his family to the Lincoln Memorial after the vandalism in February, said he took it personally. I served the greatest air force in the world, but to come here to see that is like a slap in our face, he said. Defacing a national monument or memorial is rare but not unheard of. The most significant case in recent memory was a bizarre incident in 2013, 
when a woman threw green paint on the Lincoln Memorial and later at the Washington National Cathedral. She was arrested but later found incompetent to stand trial. In that case, it took Cruz nearly a month to clear the green paint from the Lincoln Memorial, but NPS staff are skilled in the tricky removal process of graffiti removal. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments.